All right, so this message is for realtors, okay? And I'm a realtor, okay, I have my real estate license, but I, I don't consider myself a realtor, really. Uh, I'm an investor, a landlord, wholesaler, that's what I consider myself. But this message is for actual, like, real realtors, okay? If you're out there getting listings, uh, we'll talk about the listings first. You really need to learn about wholesaling real estate, okay? And you need to learn about wholesaling real estate because you're missing out on money. And it's like, why would you do a deal to make six grand and then have to go get another deal to make another six grand when you could do that same deal and make $12,000, okay? So I, I implore all real estate agents to learn about wholesaling because if you're dealing with motivated sellers, you know, you might as well try to get that property under contract yourself and then flip it for a profit, you know, using a company like mine to help you find the buyer and show you the ropes of wholesaling uh, versus trying and, and get that $100,000 listing. Then you're going to end up making like, what, $2,500, $3,000, okay? Because you're probably going to have to split the commission with a, a buyer's agent. Now, if you would have just been a wholesaler and you would have got that same property under contract for hundred grand, depending upon the deal, there's a good possibility that a company like mine could wholesale that property for you to a cash buyer for $110,000, $120,000. So now you're making double, triple, quadruple the commission. You're dealing with the same client. You're just learning a new strategy. Instead of getting that listing agreement, you're getting an actual purchase contract, okay? And, you know, there's ways to convert these purchase contracts into listings and things like that as well. So you could actually pull, pull a, a two for one and get a contract to buy it that also could serve as a listing agreement. Uh, so that's one way, you know, that realtors need to start to look at uh, increasing their income by not just going for the traditional listing, but going in for the purchase contract and then trying to flip the contract and the property through a company like mine. You're going to make yourself so much more money. Uh, you know, that's one way, that's one way to do it. Now, if, if, if you're a buyer's agent, okay, and you're looking for off-market property, property that's not on the MLS, and you have a cash buyer or a hard money buyer, you need to start to Google all of your local wholesalers, like myself, joinbuyerslist.com, and sign up on their cash buyers list because wholesalers like myself are selling a lot of off-market property. You're not going to find it on the MLS. So if you want to increase your your income, you know, you need to find new inventory. And a great place to find new inventory is through wholesalers that are doing marketing and getting off-market deals directly from sellers and, and then sell those off-market properties to your cash buyers. There's going to be a lot less competition because they're off-market. And, you know, if you get in good with the wholesalers, you know, you could create a little supply chain for yourself and your clients. So, you know, uh, realtors I feel like are, are being done a disservice, you know, by like the realtor people basically, because they're only teaching you how to get listings. They're not teaching you how to get wholesale contracts. They're not teaching you how to get options. They're not teaching you how to, you know, have cash buyers and then find the off market property that's not on the MLS to make that money. You know, where also the other powerful part about when you do off market deals is that you know, your client doesn't have the ability to go and, and, and learn about that deal. So if I'm telling you I want $100,000 for it, you could tell your client you, you, that the property is $110,000. But if the property is on the MLS, you're only going to get paid like a 3% commission. You know, they're going to pay you whatever commission they're offering. If you sell it for $110,000, you're going to get the 3% off the 110. You're not going to get that whole that whole profit. So you need to figure out you know, that dealing with wholesalers and off-market deals is a great way to make more money. And so is uh, getting these properties under contract and, and not just going in for the listing agreement. I feel like most realtors could probably double their income or create a whole nother like department in their business to, to, to deal with wholesalers and to deal with this whole wholesale business and, and learn to do what we do. It's not that hard. And you're already in a position where you're meeting with buyers and meeting with sellers. So if you just change your paperwork and change your sales pitch a little, you could almost double your income on every single deal. So, you know, I, I, I want the realtors to start to like grow and, 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 and make some more money because uh, you deserve it. And because, 
you know, again, like you're doing yourself a disservice just by not knowing how to, how to make that extra money. You're having to do double the work to make the same amount of money. So it's time, you know, in 2019 to work smarter and not harder.